Hey, 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 Brendan here, aka The Gut Whisperer. It's time for a book review. I haven't done a book review in quite some time, and it's totally overdue. So with all that being said, here is a book review. Now, before I start, I actually entered into a fun little contest from my boy, Mike, Big Mike, also known as Underdog Books. He's got a fantastic Instagram page. Really enjoy following him. He's got a fantastic story. In fact, he actually uh, did a podcast interview with myself and it was really, really fun. I got to learn a lot about him and his story. Very inspiring and humbling. So I do suggest you follow him on Instagram. You're probably seeing this on Instagram. So you got to go follow Underdog Books. Book competition or the giveaway was actually for this book here. Author's name is... Gunnar Andri. He's from Iceland. And the title is Message from the Middle of Nowhere. And in this case, nowhere is Iceland. Icelandic Viking philosophy for conquering the challenge of business and life. I didn't know what this book was going to be about. I was quite intrigued and it was a free giveaway and I won. Here's just a quick little tidbit of information. If you win anything, if you are a lucky winner and you've been selected randomly, say thank you, acknowledge that person, tag them, share on your story or your Facebook or whatever, really acknowledge them because that's the whole point of doing these giveaways. You know, all of these authors and businesses, they're trying to create awareness for whatever product or service that they're offering. And it's, it, it costs money, right? I take pleasure in reading this and reviewing this because I can proudly say that this book Top 10 of all the books that I've read, I'm going to go top 10. I really liked it. The reason why I liked it so much because it is nonfiction, which means it's, it's, it's personal development. But what I really liked about it is I was able to use my imagination. I love kind of letting go and just using my imagination and visualizing certain things. And this book, Gunnar really does an amazing job at telling tales and really getting the reader to be a part of his stories and learning about the whole landscape of Iceland and the tales and the heritage and the history. And it was really, really cool. I really especially liked it. Um, I'm just going to read this really quick. I'm going to try to do this, even though I'm already going somewhat long, but this is probably my favorite passage in this book. And it goes along the theme of nonfiction and personal development. Some years ago, I stumbled upon a very interesting concept called EVE, E-V-E. No, I'm not referring to E-V-E online, the fantastic Icelandic computer game. I'm referring to the EVE ratio, education versus entertainment. According to this ratio, one out of 100 people spend 100 hours in fun or entertainment for each one hour spent of personal development, knowledge building, and self-education. I'm sure that in some groups, these numbers are even worse. Every single person I know who has achieved something great, be it in sports, business, or another field of life, is constantly working towards keeping in shape and adding to their skills and knowledge. I'm pretty sure that the same applies to the achievers you personally know. The average person spends 100 times more time and money in some sort of entertainment, TV, coffee houses, social media, movies, theater, than on personal development, taking courses or seminars or reading books. This equals disaster, in my view, because if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Life is continuous motion, and status quo simply doesn't exist. We live in a world that is filled with people who claim they want a career or something better, but don't do anything about it. Part of the reason may be their lack of thirst for knowledge, and knowledge is an essential part of personal development. It can never be taken away from you. And that is true. That is something that I completely live by. I love reading and I love learning. Why? Because they can't take it away from me. All of these, these are my... My, my biggest asset, I love my books because everything that I've read, I've retained and I love being able to reference it and learn from it and go back to it. This book, it's fantastic. Top 10. I really liked it. If you like using your imagination, if you like stories, if you like tales, if you like lessons, every story that Gunnar talks about was from his life and he uses visualization and the landscape of Iceland to correlate it with his lessons. At the end of the book, I really start to get a really good idea of who he is as a person. He loves fine dining. He loves watches. He loves beautiful clothing. He loves life experiences. And you can't take away your life experiences. And when you become successful and when you've got financial freedom, you can have all those life experiences. So I really liked it. 
top 10 book. Here's just some of the chapters. A Viking salesman in the country of elves, stuck between two avalanches, erupt from within and nothing will stop you. The birth of the Viking sales king. God bless Iceland and our savior. Finally, huh, H-U-H, the birth of the Viking clap. Something like that. So that being said, I strongly recommend you buy it. It's a great book. You can find it on Amazon. Follow Mike Underdog Books. Follow the author, Gunnar Andre. You got to get this book. It is a very, very good read. Very inspiring. And I'm so happy that I got to share it because this is going up in the back here. Top 10 books. Message from the middle of nowhere. Until next time, in good health and in good spirit.